Hi. Um, thought I might uh, share some experience of this last week, and uh, wondering and praying for everybody, um, and in particular some thoughts that came from my phone conversations with my 94-year-old mum, who is uh, down on the edge of London living on her own, and um, how her life has been transformed by the coronavirus. Uh, she's obviously very, very vulnerable. Um, and her life around going to church on Sunday and a couple of midweek groups and a live group, it's all come to an end and she needs to self-isolate and stay indoors all the time. Um, and in my daily conversation with her, I've, I've found myself this week thinking maybe to help her, what, Mum, would a, a good day look like? What would you say was a good day, even if you're on your own and you're not able to go out? Um, and encourage her to think about some of the things that she's already doing, like having a nice meal from uh, uh, food from the, the supermarket or a TV program. Um, she loves doing quizzes, so, you know, the quiz book and so on. Um, but maybe to help her think about what other things kind of together would make a good day, a phone call from one of her sons or um, from a neighbour or from somebody from the uh, home group in her church, all which actually are happening, by, which is wonderful. Um, I've, she's not really a, a great reader or reflector, but uh, I've kind of wanted to say to her, would, would a good day, Mum, include something like a prayer time or a reading of a Bible passage or a thinking about other people who you could be remembering in prayer? Or Not really, this is for my mum, but as I thought about a good day and I thought about what a good day would be for myself, maybe you might want to think about what a good day could be for you if you've got kids at home or if you're on your own or whatever your particular circumstance may be of the members of your family who you're very anxious about because they're in the NHS or on the front line. And it just seemed to me that if we could somehow just kind of, in the new rhythm that we have to kind of get used to now, actually savour and recognise those things that are good um, and perhaps add into them some new things like maybe a recipe and making something nice with, with the, the ingredients, a soup or a cake or something, or the planting if you have a garden, uh, something new. Um, trying just little, little things that kind of, and which we thank God for. We thank God for these little things, these good things that can be included in our day. And as we do that, it helps us to think about those who maybe are having bad days and uh, uh, that's not unimportant. So if we thank God for our NHS, if we thank God for those who are making the banking system still work, uh, if we thank God even for our government and initiatives and decisions, we can then start praying for those who are in countries where there is no NHS and if this virus kicks in will be absolutely catastrophic where there is no financial under uh, uh, a care or, 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 or net of any kind. And as we do that, somehow we get a sense of thankfulness increasing. It doesn't mean that we're always going to have good days. Uh, my mum, if she becomes ill, she's unlikely to be admitted to hospital and it could be very serious and we pray that she will be able to stay safe, um, staying at home. Uh, but we don't know, none of us know. Uh, and for those who are having the bad day, may we know that in our, when we can give thanks, when we know God is with us, even in small things, um, it will help us for the, the bad days that, that may come. I think of a, 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 someone not far away from where I'm living who's looking after his wife with dementia and just wondering whether a good day would include a a little smile or a flicker of recognition and how that might help him in his constant care and love for her. So, thought for the day, uh, what do good days look like? How can we nurture them? How can we include some things in them which maybe we haven't yet included but which will add to the goodness? And as we give thanks for that, we pray so much for those who are having bad days 
and as we may have them ourselves, we we pray and thank God that he is the one who is with us in good and in bad times always. Thank you.